Welcome back guys to Unfiltered Convos and today we will be recapping episode 3 of Summer House Martha's Vineyard and so far this episode was not necessarily that dramatic like the rest of the it other wasn't. episodes but it was a cool episode but it wasn't as uh, intense as the first two episodes of we do a, we doing a ratings the ratings over here because Sure, we can do the ratings. I mean, uh, I'll give it a little seven. Seven? A little seven, yeah. Uh, I will give it a seven as well. Um, yeah, it was also an okay episode. Yeah, me, it like. was okay. Um, we saw where the scene started, where we was continuing from the previous scene where we had Nick who went to Jordan and Summer asking if that, he, if do they think that he's, you know, inappropriate or makes them un- uncomfortable. <clears throat> and... Mm-hmm. Of course, you know, they said nobody does get a little handsy, it, so... <clears throat> I feel like they were just sparing his feelings because, like, really, the evidence yeah. is there. We are all... <laughs> yeah. It's a bit weird. It's, like, a, it's very creepy. Yeah. But I'm happy that they <laughs> did say it because it would be one thing where Preston said it to him and then he confronted them and yeah. then they deny and act like they didn't say that. But they still have mm-hmm. the feelings and then he probably has to watch it on the show to see that... Um, you yeah. know that that was really what was said <clears throat> i like i really like that they said it to him though so that shows the friendship that they have mm-hmm. and it, it seems a bit genuine and i like it yeah true but he still got a i hope he grow from seeing this too as well he got a girlfriend i mean getting that anzi but he did the same crazy. thing in season one like he had a girlfriend and it was yeah. the same thing where he was a bit handsy when it came on to the you know, as in his behavior was not like someone who is in a relationship. So that in was a relationship, the relationship, right? Yeah. Um, we get to the next um scene. I think it was Shanice that was showing her or Noel. One of them were showing a party in the pool, like a pool party. It I was Shanice. It was Shanice, right. And it was Shanice. We got Shanice. Why does brought... this girl always get naked? If she's not, she says she, she has a nice. She says she has a nice body, so that's why she just likes to be yeah, naked. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Nice. Um, we saw where <laughs> she had two friends that came over, and this is where we got Noel, because we know that Noel is interested in Alex. So this is where we got Noel. Mm-hmm. Who basically, was you know a little bit flirty to put it that way with one of Shanice's friend that she carried mm-hmm. to the events. Um. We saw Alex feeling a little jealous from the scene. Uh, yeah, I saw that. It could be editing, that. but it seemed like he was a bit jealous when he saw her very close and chummy with Alex, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, the... While Summer's still over there being bitter. Because she, yeah. she be looking to and like, it's just, maybe it's just all edited. But like she be walking around, walking through them while they're having a conversation. A lot of that. I think she like, is jealous because I think she necessarily. I think she still feels like whatever arrangements or whatever was discussed or whatever <laughs> feelings were mm-hmm. shared. I think she still maybe felt like they would have probably, who knows, coming into season two actually, being together or I feel flaunting so. or flaunting or having. Basically, she was looking like, okay, we did this off season, so on season would be basically having sex in the house like um mm-hmm. like jasmine and like silas and San ja- jasmine, yeah right so i think she probably got that vibe but when it kind of ended before she probably felt like okay how do i how am i going to explain this how am i going to be around this person all the above but and i love noel i ain't gonna lie don't get me wrong she, she is her, the best addition alex because was I don't know if Alex was someone that she should have pursued, knowing that he was involved with her friend, which is Summer. I don't know. Well, honestly speaking, I think she came into the house and she just knew that they hung out. Like, yeah, but eventually she told him, told her. Yeah, but Summer still was pushing that she's, she's okay with it. So if your friend is telling you they don't care, they don't mind. And if you really have an interest in the person, like, mm. it's not that I'm going behind your back and doing it. It's not like I am being shady by doing it. It's like I spoke to you about it. You kind of don't played it before. Know that I am basically expressing a weird whatever, mm-hmm. right? And it's like you're still saying you don't care. Go ahead. Do you get? Me? So I understand some persons may be strong enough to be hands straight, like, no, I'm not doing it. But 
again she's human yeah, she's i'm that type of person so maybe it's me imposing because yeah. like uh-uh. it's just some some barriers that you would not like go past some, yeah. uh, i don't know i think her personality does speaks for herself like she's very flirty she's very fun fun very, and country yeah, as well and that <laughs> so i just think that for her it's like well you said it's okay so and the person is attractive right? i'm attracted to the person so why not but <clears throat> yeah mm-hmm. then we got where we saw jordan was saying that there was some situation between she and summer that summer was making making out in front of her apartments apartment yeah. so That's they had a little good issue with that and it she says making out but it seems that there was more than making out that was happening in front yeah. of that apartment mm-hmm. but yeah <clears throat> we also had the conversation where before the house meeting we saw where jasmine was telling i don't remember who she was telling but she was saying that she was thinking of invi- inviting phil and mariah to the house mm-hmm. and for the audience who is not aware phil was the guy who came in the first night he had a ship in Nick's toilet. He did not flush it. He and was a bit, it. yeah, yeah. He was a bit on a high, so he came in and he didn't last another night because everybody in the house felt uncomfortable. He got into very various yeah. altercations. He had issue with, with Jordan. Person. He had issue with uh, Amir as well, and, and I think he yeah. was somewhat bullying um, Preston. Preston, yes. Which so, I can't recall, but I okay. I don't think he necessarily was bullying him. I just think like some of the stuff that he was saying, I think it Same, triggered yeah. Preston because you know who Preston mm-hmm. is. So I think that was what was triggering for him. Um but Mariah, no, we know Mariah <laughs> was pretty much she was there. She was the day one. She was literally the mm-hmm. day one there. She was not like an add-on. But her situation mm-hmm. was she and Bree got into an altercation about clothes being mixed with the dog stuff. And dog stuff, yeah. they had an argument and apparently more. And somewhat pushed. a little altercation. Yeah. Yeah. Altercation. So. And then Bree, knowing who Bree is, she felt uncomfortable. So she want nothing to do with being with Mariah in the house. So they voted her, voted her out of the house. So she ended up leaving. But- <clears throat> But what I feel is with the double center when they were in the uh the, the, the house and they were like saying who should come or not, it's between Bree, uh it's between um what's his name, Phil and uh, Mariah. Mariah, yeah. I felt like there was a double standard because Bree was doing for Phil to come back, knowing that he had an issue with almost everyone in the house. You got an issue with Mariah and uh you didn't want Mariah to be there, but you want Phil to be there with issue with everybody else. Everybody that's a double else. standard. How about right. not letting the and two that's what I come? that's what I realized. Especially in the scene now we get to where the house meeting and um Jasmine asks the group what would they feel about these two persons. Mm-hmm. Everybody literally, literally had issues with Phil. It's not one person, yeah. it wasn't a misunderstanding. And it doesn't seem like everybody. he's willing to like apologize and like at bring the time good at the time the at the time when they called, which was last season, he didn't want to apologize. But they are yeah. saying that I thought they had grown. a little phone call and there was growth. I don't know. It gives Only a time lot of ne- negative energy. It Bree was different because <laughs> even when Bree had an issue, Bree also uh, with uh, Mariah. Mariah mm-hmm. also had an issue with uh, Amir, but he was still cool with her coming back. Yeah. There's a difference. There is a difference. I think it gives thirsty. I just think that they're very thirsty for being yeah. on TV and they saw the popularity that season one gave. So they wanted to, mm-hmm. hear, they heard mm-hmm. about season two. They probably just want to be a part of it. And they want to come back and try to right wrongs, but come back and still bring that energy to make a name again for themselves. Mm-hmm. For, yeah, because we mm-hmm. had persons who were saying, although Phil left and Phil did all of this, persons were saying that they should have kept Phil because Phil was good TV. So you have persons who were like, they didn't care about what he did, they didn't care about the altercations he got with everybody, but at the end of the day, he was good TV. And do we want to make good TV or do we want people to feel comfortable? Which one is it? Like, can't make good TV if everybody is uncomfortable. Like, it doesn't work that way. True. True. Yes, the double standard was there because Mariah and Bree only had that one-on-one. It wasn't the entire house thing. And yeah. it was actually a misunderstanding because we found out that Amir was the one who actually mixed the clothes. It wasn't actually Bree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she seems as well that she is grown. And she didn't even somewhat give the opportunity 
for her to come into the house and who knows maybe apologize and it will be publicly yeah. apologized because obviously it'll be they on really camera. did not though because it yep. was sad when she was leaving uh, last season all yeah. right because i did love her she was one of my favorite so it was a bit sad i feel like she didn't get the opportunity to because i feel like she she was showing some form of remorse right but uh, as compared to a uh, phil he was like no nope, call no y'all yeah yeah yeah, so but she typical Brie, she threw her tantrum and she walked out of the meeting and uh, they went outside and that's when they had the phone call with Phil. Phil decided mm-hmm. to tell them that apparently it was pre-planned and Mariah's ticket was already booked and he was planning to meet up with Mariah because they are friends. Mm-hmm. He was going to meet up with them outside. And uh, this is what makes Brie go wild because she's like... So you're holding a meeting, which I understand. If you're holding a meeting mm-hmm. to make it seem like you're trying to get the the idea of the group, but then realistically, mm-hmm. you already have the ticket book for this person to come. It doesn't so it show that you're like concerned about my feelings. Or, right. It's not yeah. like you're concerned about my feelings. You weren't concerned about the house felt because you already bought the tickets. Where at least for them with Phil, they asked before a ticket was booked or anything was done. So it's like... I see where Bree I mean, is coming from. Really. Got a point though, because I understand where Bree is coming from. Where it could be seen, it can be seen a bit shady, it can be seen a bit preconceived, right? But Jasmine have a point though. Flights can be canceled, and I mean that's our friend. That was an economical choice. You yeah, pay for the ticket, but it's not but it about can be canceled. Yeah, it can be canceled, but it's like I don't think it necessarily has to be where it can be canceled. Or it's an economical choice. I just think that it's. If it's like me and you have, say for instance, you have an issue with someone and Mm -hmm. you had an altercation, it it wasn't resolved and we're going on a trip in another country and we are there on the trip and I'm going to say to you, hey, how would you feel if such and such person come and you felt in yourself like, oh, they're, you know that this person really cares about my feelings. I want to know how I feel first before bringing the person. But then you found out, no, this person was already booked to come. But let me True. just, I'm like, it's like you're saving face. And I think that's where True. Brie feels. Because like. she could have said something. Jasmine could have said something. As she said, they 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 are bathroom buddies. They use the same bathroom and all of that. And, right. you know, so she could have said something at some point before yeah. the house meeting. But, yeah. We got to the scene where I think they were out for dinner. So, yeah, it was dinner. And... Bree then decides to ask Jasmine that if it was premeditated for for her to have mm-hmm. um, Mariah come into the house, of course, Jasmine does not own up to the fact that it was this. Even the producers showed a flashback to show that this ticket was literally booked five days ago when Br- Jasmine is saying yeah. that she did it last night. So Yeah, that's a lie now. So exactly. Girl. So it's like you're adding, to, you can't even own up to the fact that the ticket was booked. Exactly. When you're in your interview scene, you're going to say, well, it's an economical thing. You can always cancel it. It's like, so Jasmine on, yeah, so that was that. And then after a while, we had Brie who decided to just leave the dinner because she's like, she feels disrespected. Like she always leave a scene. Like, come on, like this point. Like a child. Go. Like Good a child. Bye. She has to like, throw a tantrum. She has to show right. her tantrum. Always be leaving a scene. Gotta go home. Gotta go in her room, lay in her bed, and call someone to get some confirmation. Like that she ain't going crazy. Relax. Yeah. It ain't we, all that much. We it then, ain't all that deep. <laughs> we then had where I don't remember who brought it up, but we had where Shanice decided to tell Summer at the table why she felt triggered by her comment the other night when she said that she was the worst dressed in the group. And for Shanice, as we saw, she said that she felt triggered is because Summer knows that she lost her job. Mm-hmm. And then for you to be coming at someone to say that they are the worst dressed, it seems as if like then what do you want me to do? I don't have a job. I can't buy clothes to be the best dress. So she felt triggered and you are my friend and you know that I lost my job. Yeah. Everybody in the house don't know that as yet. And the fact that you she was supposed soon. to have her friend back. Right. That's that's it. So we got that little... And I remember you saw the phone call with her mom, Shani. Her mom. She, her mom is funny as hell. Yes. Her mom was like, <laughs> I would have whatever, whatever. And I'm like, yep. Yeah, she said, don't beat that bitch or some shit. Yeah. Like it was crazy. <laughs> and we had Summer, I think she tried to explain herself, but 
at this point, I don't know what Summer is going through. I see that the host, was, what I'm seeing, is somewhat turning against her. Yeah, like, I feel like that's coming eventually. It's Alex, even it's and Jordan, watch... it's it's Chinese. Who else? It's probably Noel eventually. Uh huh. You know, so I don't know. Because even on see. Watch What Happens Live, we had Bria and Shanice on Watch What Happens Live, and it still seems as if there is some rift between them and Summer. So mm-hmm. I, I don't know what future episodes Summer is really going to do, but we saw even in the last scene where she and Jordan got into it mm-hmm. because whatever at this point. I knows? guess they wanted to have the conversation about her doing what she was doing outside her apartment. But at yeah. that point, they're just drunk as hell because it was like almost 3 a.m. in the morning. They were just getting home from the club. club. Yeah. Like, Mm-mm. It wasn't Spe- even the right time to have that conversation. Speaking of the club, we finally see the group <clears throat> we're forcing Noel to go and have our conversation with Alex to let her know, let him know that she has an interest in them. And mm-hmm. we got the most awkward scene. Very awkward. When Noel she was looking decides, real thirsty and stupid. I'm sorry. And I love her. But she put herself in position. She wasn't looking thirsty and stupid to me. You don't think so? No, I think she was just expressing herself, but I just think typical Alex being an F boy that they are and their personality trying to pretend as if like they're this Zen person. I got from the scene. Again, you're you're entitled to your opinion, but what I got from the scene was typical Alex. You sounded as if like you were interested in this girl. And then because she's Mm -hmm. the one making the first step, it's like you don't want that. So it's like, no, you're taking a mm-hmm. step back. Yes, she kind of said some stuff, but I'd be like, oh, yeah, I probably wouldn't say that. Like, it sounded a bit very, um, what you call it? Because she said something like she gets very territorial. And I think that was the problem where... She do. Yes. And I think that One was thing the I, problem. I have to give to her that she was putting it out there, though. She yeah, was she was. putting it out there because she the was night before, it she out was there, there like, the yes. friend. Yes. With whoever friend who came by. Shani's friend. She, they were like kissing her, eating with a, 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 the cupcake, a, a cupcake. A yeah. cupcake. And she was yeah. touching all over his body and all of that. She did put it out there. And to be honest. <laughs> but I also have to under She got to understand and like respect where uh, Alex is coming from. Because he's still coming from the situation with him and Summer. Yes. But. um, And also, she is Summer friend. So that would. That is kind of like drama right there, brewing. To, it's drama, but happen, I think like... what Alex probably saw was the same thing happened with Summer. I know you are Summer friend. I know you're telling me that you get very territorial. So even if we do mess around, it's a potential mm-hmm. that you're going to be very handsy or very claiming. Like pretty much as I, I said that. I he can was see that in her. Yeah, too. I can see that though. But it's just still sad though. It's the scene was so weird. The conversation was weird. It was I don't very cringy. I dislike Alex's response. I think he could have probably explained it a bit further. He kind of just swept it under the rug like he really didn't have any interest or something really? that way. I feel like in the future when I look back, that was like the best thing. I feel no, like, nothing I is feel wrong. So. Nothing is wrong with shutting her down. But he mm-hmm. did not state why mm-hmm. he really shut shut them down. He's making it seem as if like you're the only one who is having these feelings and liking me. And like it's not that over here. Like that's how he put he, he when he went back to the guy, mm-hmm. he was like, Oh, she's claiming me as already as a boy. Why didn't you say that to her? Why didn't you say he to her that he you know that. at first I was interested, whatever, whatever, but mm-hmm. based on what you're saying, I'm not ready for whatever, whatever, and then take it from there. But the fact that you And you're sat right somewhat. You are right somewhat. I remember at the end of the conversation, she was saying, like, she don't want to, like, be territorial much, not let you be single. But yes. um, it's somewhat to, like, let you know that I could be a possible interest, which I was like, okay, that's and something they were that I could in work with. The two first episodes, they were interested in her because you saw they mm-hmm. had that conversation in the kitchen. You saw right. in his confessional where it sounded like she seems fun. He seems like his type of whatever. So you see that there was some interest there, but because she was the first one who said this to you and then she may turn you off by saying that she's mm-hmm. very territorial, but then say yeah. that shit to her face. Don't sit but in I the scene. But I feel like he's just a typical guy because she, he saw what she- that's the thing where I said guy. they give me. So that's F- why when they were at the club, he was there flirting. That's with why I said he that gave, That's cast. why I said he give f energy because. Yeah. Why is it that you are not saying this to her? 
But the minute you got mm. up from the table and went to the guys, you're going to say the reason why you kind of retreat or you step back is because she said this stuff. Now you have her mm-hmm. leaving thinking that it was all in period. her head. It was all in her yeah. head. She was the only one who was interested, but they weren't having no sort. They were just having conversations. Mm-hmm. It was nothing that. Yeah. <sighs> but but Leo, we'll see. We'll see how this plays see. out. <laughs> Um, I think that was the end of the episode. I don't think there was nothing more to the episode. We obviously saw where the episode ended with Jordan and Summer getting into it. We'll see next mm-hmm. week what that really unfolds to be. Mm-hmm. But that was pretty much the episode, guys. Um, was there anything else you want to see next week? Are you expecting to see for the rest of the season? Um, I'm just still getting into all the drama. I want to see Mariah come. I, I want to see, see if Phil that. comes. Oh my God. Because <laughs> although he's not invited to the house, it still fine, sounds like fine. he's coming to Martha's yeah, Vineyard. Yeah, because that's crazy how her and uh, Mariah and um, Phil go meet up. I didn't know that they were friends or like, that's crazy, Yeah, they were friends because okay. I think when he they were. came, yeah, I think when yeah. he was in the house for this short period of time, yeah. when he was leaving or something like that, he was speaking to Mariah and then whatever situation, yeah, but yeah. But uh, well, we'll see next week. We'll see, guys. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, your thoughts on the episode. And remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next week as we'll recap Martha's Vineyard episode four. And have yourself a restful day and a wonderful week. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, all.